Yeah, I think the uh, overall agenda was to uh, collaborate uh, with the industry partners across the entire value chain, right from uh, the brand owner up to the converter. Because in the end, the brand owner is talking to the packaging buyer who is actually talking to the converter. All of us in the value chain who are the press suppliers, the ink suppliers, the pre-press houses, studios and trade shops are uh, actually going to support in the entire value chain. So I think it was a good uh, moment for us to collaborate and think together how we can work uh, uh, together and uh, have a clear path forward. Well, it was very good. No, it's the first time really in India that color management's really taken to this level. So it's, it's very good. I enjoyed it. Well, I think we're, we're really talking about people moving from a manual or visual system to a digital system. So I think people looked at the, the pathway from the old ways to the new ways. That's been explored today. I, I, I think that the, the, the meeting really, uh, or the, the event started the process. I think, uh, I think it's been said many times that the full idea of colour has not really been taken by the audience today. I think over the next three to five years, this is a start of a, a journey. Uh, to my knowledge, I think, yes, it is a good one where the participation has been in a different level. Also, the, the process of interaction has been a completely a different target because the idea was not only to talk about it in, in, the, in a forum, it was more to practically involve the stakeholders across in the entire supply chain. All this while, there have been forums which generally talk about, uh, you know, where print, Print and packaging is just a part of the entire supply chain process alone. But I think this initiative has been more to do with how the engagement of the entire brand with the supply chain makes it come true. I think the process of putting in speakers at different levels to talk about brand management, to talk about color management, and then to talk about brand engagement, I think it's one of the best that has been there. I think the overall event was very good, uh, right from the end user, the brand owners, the advertising agencies and the converters and I think probably also there were some teachers in the, so the, I think you covered the whole gamut and uh, the sessions were very good. I think it's, it's very necessary because all such events, it brings awareness in the industry and this awareness is important. Unless the people are aware, they are not going to practice it. Well, it's, it's wonderful. I think we, uh, we've all been talking in different words, different languages for many years. It's going to still take a long time for us to get onto the same page. It's going to take a long time for us to become practical, to, to not just be selling our own game. But I think uh, this is progress. What we saw is that there are a lot of, num lot of people who are interested and a lot of people who are saying something and doing something. We're just not on the same page yet. Well, there's somebody teaching, there's a designer who's aware of the problem, there are um, uh, converters who wish brand owners would get interested. So there's a whole supply chain, but it's not everybody in the supply chain and the packaging supply chain has not yet bought into these concepts. Although ultimately, it's a no-brainer because you make more money if you do this. Okay? It's just a normal, sensible thing to do. But we are calling it by some fancy technology, color management, this, that. But actually, it's a very simple no-brainer. It was good insight, you know, on the print management and print optimization and all. And a lot of new concepts, like I was not even aware of this, you know, touch, glow, you know, print, which is there. So a lot of new things is, are there and especially one person who gave, you know, how to control on machine, the deviations and also that was something new technology, which we were not aware of. So certainly the event was good. In case in future we need to, you know, um, get into these things, though the technology is yet to come in India, but still at least an insight is there. So, you know, people are now aware, like the way Nestle people said, now they're going with, to or, you know, toluene free and MEK free inks. So it's a, you know, roadmap for the other FMCGs as well. So that is something which, you know, since it's raised on this platform, the world would know about it and other Indian companies would also follow the, on the same track.